when it comes to treating candida overgrowth, what you eat matters just as much as what you don't eat. So in today's video, we're going to be diving into the diet side of things and understanding how you can balance candida by implementing the right dietary plan and what it can do for you, including what the science has to say about it. Let's get started. Hey, Yulia Tabat here, and together with my husband, Paul Tabat, we are certified holistic nutritionists with over 12 years of experience helping you create healthy gut, healthy hormones, and the life and the body of your dreams naturally. So what's important to understand when it comes to candida is that candida is actually normal. So we all have certain amounts of candida in our bodies. And when it becomes a problem is when it overgrows, when, when it becomes out of balance and when that bacteria becomes opportunistic and it starts to affect your gut micro microbiome. So that's when you can start experiencing candida symptoms. I have personal passion when it comes to balancing candida and helping other people balance their candida overgrowth is because I've been there myself and I've done it all. I've done an anti-candida diet, endless herbs and supplements. I've done endless functional medicine and naturopath practitioners that I went to see without getting results. And it wasn't until I switched to the lifestyle plan that I'm going to tell you about in this video, I was able to balance candida overgrowth symptoms in just three days. And since then, we've helped hundreds of our clients balance their candida overgrowth. For example, Tina was able to balance her candida symptoms in just days and get relief from annoying candida symptoms. And she was also able to balance her sleep issues, hot flashes, hormonal imbalances, and start losing weight completely naturally. And by the way, we've got a free one day candida detox plan with strategies and recipes to help you kickstart your gut rebalancing journey. So go ahead and grab it now. What's interesting about candida overgrowth is that in a healthy immune system, your body should take care of that. But if it is out of balance, so you've got candida overgrowth, that also shows that your immune system is down. So something is suppressing your immune system. Now, as well as candida in the gut, you can also have vaginal candida. And in fact, three out of four women, so that's 85% of women, will have candida overgrowth or will have experienced candida overgrowth at least once in their lifetime. So it's a big and common problem for a lot of women. And once again, the problem is that it is out of balance and that's what you need to understand. So the question is, what can you do to balance candida overgrowth? Well, let's have a look at this interesting study. So this study separated women into two groups. Group one took an antifungal medication. Group two took an antifungal medication together with dietary changes. An antifungal medication together with dietary changes was twice as effective at clearing candida. So the question is, would you like to actually get on top of things and do what's been proven to work? Now, while I'm not personally neglecting the importance of medication in certain cases, in our extensive practice of working with hundreds of people with candida problems and helping them get on top of their issues in as little as just a few days for some of them, after years of candida struggle, we use antifungal supplementation, so antifungal herbs, instead of antifungal medication. And we also use dietary changes and we see absolutely incredible level of success with our clients. Now, going back to the study again, you can see that people who implemented dietary changes had twice as much result with candida clearance. So. Let's go into the dietary side of things because there are certain myths that you want to avoid. And obviously, yes, there are certain foods that you will want to exclude. You will want to exclude alcohol. You will want to exclude processed sugar and processed grains. You will want to exclude processed food altogether and switch to whole food, uh, plant foods diet. And I'll talk about it in a second. I'll talk about the reason why. And uh, you, of course, you want to manage your lifestyle and stress and make sure that you get sufficient amount of sleep so your body is able to recover. And again, you're able to put 
the small deposits back into that bank account. So if your immune system is down and you feel run down and you feel fatigued and you're just constantly overburdening yourself, your bank account, just think about it that way, your bank account will keep on getting lower and lower. Not lower, what you have to do is to start putting deposits into that bank account so it can start growing and it can your body can start balancing itself and it has the opportunity to do so. Now, let me tell you why. My husband, Paul, and I are totally against anti-candida diets, against low carbohydrate, low glycemic fruit, uh, low glycemic diets uh, for your recovery, not only from candida overgrowth, but probably also from gut imbalances, from fatigue, probably have fatigue with candida, very common and uh, other issues in low immune system and maybe also hormonal imbalances because let's face it when you have candida overgrowth there is inflammation going on in your body there is a problem that is happening in your body and you need to address it so let's look at this study this study looked at the effects of restrictive diets low carbohydrate low glycemic and so forth on women's health and what they realized was that those who had fatigue issues already became more fatigued and the problem with the low carbohydrate diet is that it does that to you do you know why here's another study when you go on a low carbohydrate diet your t3 thyroid hormone level start to drop what does t3 thyroid hormone do to your body well it supplies every single cell in your body with energy. Every single cell in your body needs T3. So you go on a low carbohydrate diet, anti-candida diet, which is the same thing, right? On an anti-candida diet, what do you do? You go low carb. So you go on a low carbohydrate, anti-candida diet, you are under eating on carbohydrates, important carbohydrates, your fatigue gets worse you are probably getting more constipated because you are not consuming enough fiber, especially if you're starting to rely more on animal products. And at this stage, you should be having regular, at any stage of your life, you should be having regular bowel movements daily, one to two times a day. Yes, if you don't have that every single day, if your bowels are not moving every single day, you are constipated. And don't read the online advice that once every three days is absolutely fine. That is total nonsense. You should be going to the bathroom every day. If you are not going to the bathroom every day, you are constipated. Toxicity is building up in your body. Your hormones can start to go out of balance. You can start to experience estrogen dominance later on. And estrogen dominance can create a whole wealth of other health complications, some of them being cancer. Yes. Yeah, so we don't want that to happen. You want your regular bowel movements and you want to have more, feel more energy. Again, going on a low carbohydrate diet is going to affect your sleep. It's going to affect your cycle, your hormones. It's going to affect your energy levels. What is the point? How is it going to help you clear candida? And then people who go on anti-candida low carb diets, what do they do? Well, they have to eat their calories from somewhere. And if they're not consuming sufficient amount of carbohydrates, what they're gonna eat? They're gonna eat more protein and they're gonna eat more fat, both of which is heavier to digest on the body. Yes, you need protein and yes, you need fat, but it's the amount that matters. Yeah, so if you start to overeat on those two and undereat on healthy and processed carbohydrates, and processed is the key word here, I'm not talking about pastas, breads, and so forth, yes. I'm not talking about those types of carbohydrates. I'm talking about whole food, unprocessed carbohydrates with plenty of fruit in your diet, whole fruit, whole natural sugar in your diet. So when you start to under eat on whole natural, whole food, sugar, and carbohydrates in your diet, you overeat on fat and protein, more difficult to digest, is more constipating. Again, we've got a study that shows that it affects your hormone levels, your thyroid hormone levels. It affects your fatigue. So people who already have fatigue didn't do better on this diet. So it's a no-go. There is no scientific proof whatsoever that this type of diet 
is beneficial for you. What we have plenty of scientific proof for though is a whole foods, high carbohydrate plant foods plan. So let's talk about the more specific steps that you can implement in terms of your diet to start experiencing candida overgrowth clearance. So first thing is that you're going to switch to whole food carbohydrates whole food carbohydrates and plenty of fruit in your diet yes you can eat more fruit and balance your candida overgrowth and i've shared a video before where balanced candida overgrowth in just three days the symptoms of candida overgrowth the bloating the gas the fatigue the it's just constant discomfort in just three days after switching to a high fruit diet i stopped the anti-candida diet i tried it for two years it was a huge struggle it led to so many problems from fatigue and hormonal imbalances and gut health issues through to binge eating and emotional eating and unhealthy relationship with food and just feeling constantly hungry and looking at every cookie around me and just being obsessed with wanting to eat more sugar because we're naturally meant to be eating more sugar. So you're not going to be doing the anti-candida diet. Instead, you're going to switch to whole food carbohydrates. As well as that, you're also going to include plenty of fresh leafy greens into your diet and plenty of fresh green vegetables into your diet. Now, I don't know your personal situation. If you've got IBS or if you've got other um, in, uh, gut, inflammatory gut issues, then that might, a lot of vegetables might not sit well with you. You might not be able to digest a lot of vegetables. You can blend them, for example, that's one idea. So it's easier for your gut to break it down, for your body to break it down, or you might need to modify your diet. So this is why it's this is why when we work with our clients, we assess each situation individually and we create uh, each person's plan accordingly. Now, as well as that, of course, you're going to be eating healthy amounts of protein and that's going to come from nuts and seeds. And if you can at this stage, add some leg legumes or protein powders, but you might not be able to. The first stage for your candida balance might be literally really cleansing your body the right way and really helping you rest from that excess fat in your body and excess uh, protein from animal sources in your body. So that might be the first step. It might, might be to do with balancing how you eat your carbohydrates and so forth. So at the same time, you definitely want to make sure that you're including things like chia seeds and flax seeds, which are anti-inflammatory omega-3 sources. So you want to include those into your diet and you want to limit the consumption of omega-6, which is pro-inflammatory in your body. So certainly excluding oils and being more cautious with nuts and seeds at this particular stage of you balancing your candida overgrowth. And the next step is including steamed vegetables. We've talked about raw vegetables, so you're going to be eating more lettuces, and celery, and adding more herbs, fresh herbs to your diet, and adding more greens, leafy greens to your diet. But you also want to diversify, and fiber in vegetables is particularly healthy and cleansing for your gut. It's also great for helping you rebuild that diverse gut bacteria. So steaming vegetables is a great idea and you can also steam root vegetables if you wanted to add more calories. So steamed sweet potato, for example, or sweet potato stew with other veggies that you can steam together and then eat and enjoy. So the bottom line is this, if your current diet and lifestyle is not working and you keep on having candida overgrowth, something needs to change. You do need to rebuild your immune system. You do need to rebuild the health of your gut in order to be able to get on top of your candida overgrowth. You might, as a female, you might also need to rebuild the health of your vaginal flora, for example. If you're getting a lot of vaginal candida, you will need to improve your vaginal flora as well as a female. And there are a lot of things, a lot of steps to take from cleansing your body to through to balancing your nutrition choosing the right antifungal herbs for yourself and choosing the right long-term plan for yourself so you are getting on top of candida overgrowth and then you've got a plan to help you maintain your results so if that's what you need help with then here are the two ways we can help you first go ahead and register for our free online training class where we'll talk about the five steps our clients use 
to restore their gut imbalances, hormonal imbalances, lose 10 to 50 pounds of excess weight totally naturally and create a body and life of their dreams where they have energy and vibrancy. It's free and the link for that is on the screen and in the description section. And the second step is we can jump on a free 15 minute call where we will assess your health situation, where we will understand what some of the root causes are that are contributing to your health issues and create a plan and show you how we can help you inside our private coaching program. So the link for that is again on the screen and in the description section. And that's for those of you who want to get personal help from us with balancing your candida overgrowth. All right, so in the next video, our client Brittany will talk about her transformation and how she was able to balance really debilitating candida overgrowth, fatigue, hormonal imbalances, and other challenges, including weight issues, within just weeks. See you there.